Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the Clean Slate book tag. I was invited to do this tag by its creator, Michael, over at Catalyst Reads. I do much better at tags where I talk about things instead of books. I probably shouldn't admit that. Question number one is, are there any genres that you're going to be reading more or less of in 2018? And not that I have planned. I've already said that 2018 is going to be all about reducing my own book inventory. And it's pretty much going to be more of the same horror, thriller, romance, genre fiction in general. Whatever I own, that's what I'm reading. Question number two is, are there any books you have read recently that have changed or challenged your own philosophies or beliefs? And I don't believe that there are any that I read or have read recently that have done that, but I am in the middle of reading, and when I say middle, I guess I should say I am in the beginning stages of reading America 51 by Corey Taylor, which is a book that reflects upon our current political state here in America and how things ended up the way that they did. So I have a feeling that that's going to, if not change, then definitely help me articulate my thoughts and feelings on similar matters. So question number three is who would you recommend a newbie to watch? And of course there are the booktubers that I find super entertaining that have a very well established following like Peter Likes Books, like Books and Lala. You can't go wrong there. But as far as other booktubers that it may be difficult for a newbie to easily find, I have to strongly recommend and urge people to watch Mara at Books Like Whoa. Mara had one of the most seamless and well-prepared transitions into booktube that I've ever seen where she had all of this content pre-filmed. She was ready and she did 30 days of content for the very first month that she was here and it was awesome. She's also very well read and speaks really intelligently about books but at the same time she's very relatable and down to earth. I absolutely love her. <laughs> Question number four is do you have a reading book bucket list? And I do. It. I want to read all the books and I, I mean it's a pretty big bucket. Let's face it. I can admit that there are some very popular <laughs> authors or authors who have gigantic bodies of work that I have never read and so I'm tossing around some ideas for how to scratch or check mark those authors off my list in 2018 in the very near future. So stay tuned for that possibility. Question number five is what is it about booktube that has surprised you the most? About booktube? Um, I don't know that anything about booktube has really surprised me because I think most of us before we start creating our own content, um, are pretty familiar with booktube but as far as what about being on booktube has surprised me I'm surprised with myself first and foremost that I've not that I've kept with it but that I've continued to have so much desire to do this I have a tendency to be a little bit wishy-washy and a little bit fickle and um, sometimes I find that I, I want something right away in an instant gratification kind of way and eventually my interest wanes. And I'm still very interested in booktube. I still find myself striving to create content on a regular basis and, and it's a lot of work which I kind of thought it would be, but I'm finding that it's even more than I thought that it would be. And I'd still, I still have this desire to do it. And it makes me, I feel like I'm accomplishing things. So I get a really good feeling that I wasn't anticipating. It surprised me. Question number six is what are some of your goals and they don't have to be booktube related. 
again to read all the books. I do have a book bookish resolutions video coming out at the end of the month right before we hit 2018 officially. Those I guess could be considered goals. I don't want to spoil those. In my life, I mean we want to start a family and I want to keep advancing in my career and we want a bigger house and you know there's all kinds of things in life that you know I aspire to. Question number seven is if you could meet dead or alive any writer artist or musician who would it be? This is such a hard question. Do you have any idea how many writers artists and musicians living and dead there are? And I'm not a great decision maker, but I can tell you that I would probably prefer to meet a musician. Music fills every crack and crevice of your life. And what I mean by that is you can't always have a book in your hand. You can't always be doing something to appreciate art. You can experience music all the time while you're doing other things. Every second of your life could be filled with music and you could still be incredibly productive and still have all of these things going on and music is just this soundtrack and this background and I it means a lot to me. <laughs> I want to meet them all like this is too hard. I told you I cannot make decisions. <laughs> Number eight would you rather have your life written by your favorite author or portrayed in a movie by your favorite actor or actress. I think that I would rather have my life written about by my favorite author, uh, who is Kristen Ashley, but it has less to do with her in particular because I know that she's proficient and great and would do an amazing job, yes. But I would almost rather read my life than watch my life. I feel like watching my life would be incredibly awkward. You know those American Idol auditions? They purposefully set people up to be humiliated. You know, they let the bad singer go through just so they have entertaining television. And you know how when you're watching it, you just want to go, oh, you just want to cringe. Not because it sounds bad, but because you feel horrible for that person. I feel like that's what a movie about my life would be. I feel like everybody would be watching it like, oh. Question number nine is what are some of the challenges that you still have to overcome where your channel is concerned? All of us could always get better at technical stuff. I mean, lighting and sound and editing and you know, all of that stuff that we're not really here for. I'd much rather improve upon my creativity in booktube, my inspiration in booktube. Sometimes, you know, short of like filming review videos or filming a tag that I've been given, I've only, I've only succeeded in creating a few videos that are completely original ideas or content. And I want more of that. I want to be able to do more than that. Every once in a while, inspiration strikes and I'm like, yes, you know, I could do this and this and this and this and this, but that doesn't happen often. Number 10 is what advice would you give to someone thinking about deleting their booktube channel? I guess it depends on their reasoning for wanting to delete their channel. But I think in most cases, I mean, we, we, we created this content. We worked hard. We thought about it. We put forth effort into it. We filmed it. We edited it. We sat through the long upload. Like it's alive now. We created it. It's alive. Let it sit out there and be seen or be heard. And whether you're interested in continuing to create, that's your business and that's your prerogative. And I would never tell somebody that they should definitely do this or definitely not do this. But I would say that once you've done it, like let it exist and become whatever it's going to become because six months from now, a year from now, people could still land on your content and still take something positive away from it. Even if you completely check out, right? Even if you don't interact, 
nothing. If that video still exists, then you still have the opportunity to infect or affect or influence or help people. And I think, I mean, I don't, I don't film videos so that I can watch and listen to myself. I film videos in hopes that the things that I'm putting out there will benefit other people, other readers specifically, but other people in general. And so I think that taking that away, deleting that, I think that you're selling, you know, yourself and your videos short, you know, who knows what role you could play in somebody's life months from now. The last question is actually just who do you tag? And uh, I think that it's only fair that I tag Mara at Books Like Whoa since I talked about her. I would also like to tag um, Two Book Obsessed because she tagged me on something a while ago and I completely failed at it. So I have yet to create anything for her. So as an apology and maybe a little bit of payback, I would like to extend the invitation for her to do the clean slate book tag. By all means, as, as Michael intended, anybody who wants to do this can do this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about some of my responses, and I will see you all very soon.